Hey camera, we are here today doing another hashtag Helix with myself, Brad, and Troy. And we're gonna be answering your questions from Twitter and giving our best responses. <laughs> cool, cool. First question comes from at Heart Unfumble. Uh, what do you guys do when you're at home? Um, when I'm at home, I usually am online shopping <laughs> and thinking about what I'm gonna do like for the week. Like trying to plan out my week so I don't just sit around all week. I probably do a lot of napping <laughs> and um, eating a lot of junk food. <laughs> uh, honestly, I just kind of sit at home, play video games, and uh, I drive a lot. I don't know, I like to drive. I just go out and drive whenever I'm bored, so that's pretty much my everyday life. Cool, cool. Next question comes from at Psychotic X Chris. What's your weirdest fetish? Underwear. I love underwear. What's your favorite? <laughs> but it's not kind weird of, though. What's your favorite kind of underwear? Just all underwear or like? It has to be like briefs or boxer briefs. Briefs or boxer. Not briefs. like boxers yeah. though. Uh, I'm not a big fan of boxers. Uh, my nipples. I don't know. Nipples in general are just a fetish. I, I like nipple play. It's fun. Like um, to have yours played with or to play with other people's? Both. It just that. Yeah. It's both fun. <laughs> we share that fetish. <laughs> it is very fun. I wouldn't say that's my weirdest fetish, though, but I don't want to say that. Oh, really? You I don't know. want to oh, say that. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty weird. Tell, tell, tell. tell you what my weirdest fetish is. Um, tell Dr. Phil. He knows what it is. Probably, like, group sex, gangbang, stuff like that. Like, not me getting gangbang, but being, like, <laughs> part of that. <laughs> okay, this next question comes from at KCPTDC. Tell us about your first time with a guy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I kind of, let me go back. Um, I was 16. I was really nervous. It was the first time I did anything, like a kiss with anybody, girl or guy, and oh it was gosh. with a guy. And um, it just kind of progressed from kiss to sex, all kind of in one. So I kind of <laughs> had a, an all-day festival of getting all of my first in at once. You ran all the bases a, in one yeah, run. There you go. Yeah, pretty much. Where, who, who was it and like, where were you and stuff? Um, his, name was, his name was Cameron. It was at my house. My parents were not home. It was in the <laughs> middle of the summer, so I wasn't at school. I was just, it was in my room. We were watching Pearl Harbor. Which is I don't I don't know why we were watching Pearl Harbor, but that was the movie we decided to watch. So. That always gets me there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pearl Harbor, man. That or Titanic. Just, it's got to be Titanic. Anything with Ben Affleck. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no, if for me it's um um what's the other dude's name? Matt uh, Damon. No, no, no. The guy that played in uh he played in Pearl Harbor. He he was in Black Hawk Down. Josh. Yeah. Oh, it was the, oh Matt Damon's not in that movie. No. Um. Yeah, Hartman. Josh. Hartman. Yes, that guy. What about your first time with the guy? Um, mine was actually um, in a gun shop. It was like an owner. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> it was like an inside shooting range, and it was actually on like camera surveillance, and it was like on like the glass casing, and it was like the worst sex ever. Oh. It, and it was my first time. Wait, it was wait, awful. how old were you? I was a minor. I'm not sure. I was definitely like 17 or 16. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. But. What was like the... I like I met up with him via online. It was through like an online service, so <laughs> and I was kind like, of how it always goes. Yeah. Yep. Mine. Uh, I think I was like fourteen or fifteen, and early bloomer. Yeah, we were playing Truth or Dare, and Truth <laughs> or Dare just uh, turned into just Dare, and then suddenly here we all are naked somehow. I don't know. <laughs> was it like a big group? Guys yeah, there was like three or four of us, probably all guys and girls. all guys, all guys. Actually. Oh, all guys. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> so wait, did you all blow each other? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was like, I dare you to do that, then they would come, they, like, we would, like, go off into another part of my friend's basement, because <laughs> he had a finished basement, and then it, it basically we just took turns, but we did it under the premise of daring, so that we wouldn't, like, no homo oh, kind yeah. of thing, you yeah. know what I mean? It's not gay. It's, it was a dare. Right. I, just, I was dared to do it, I swear. It's not gay till the sex stuff. Right. <laughs> it's not gay till you keep going after the dare. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, this next one is from at Ken01. What's the biggest cock you've each taken? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. There's there's a select handful, like two or three. 
Right, I haven't bought them for enough people to answer yeah, this question. <laughs> it's a hard, um, probably, actually, my very first boyfriend was, had a pretty big dick. It was probably like nine, but it, nine, yeah, it's probably nine, but it was, it was really skinny, so. True enough. I think um, I think my boyfriend <laughs> Casey Chandler probably has the biggest dick that I've ever taken because I've only taken like three people. So <laughs> you, you, take, you take bottoms for like three people as well. Yeah, just okay. three people. And I was giving my honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is from Raven Don. If you could do a scene with anyone from Cocky Boys, who would it be? Um, I think I would pick R.J. Sebastian. Uh, Jake Jackson. Benny Moorcock. <laughs> Definitely. Any more cocks. They can all have their cock. scene debuts with us. This is it right here, guys. <laughs> Next question from at Lady Flames eighty six. Um, what's your guys' favorite video games? If you play a video game, World of Warcraft probably. I'm a nerd like that. Nerd. <laughs> I love like Sims, like simulation or driving games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My favorite. I honestly. There's so many. I've been playing a lot of Uncharted lately, like the whole Uncharted series, oh and they're getting gosh. ready to come out with a new one, and they're so amazing. I love them. Mm -hmm. I went over to this kid's house the other day, and <laughs> he has more video games, I think, than I've owned in my entire life. I've so. got an Xbox One, a PS4, a PS3, and an Xbox 360. And I currently don't have any controllers for the PS3, because the last <laughs> one out kind of shattered on the ground. Oops. You dropped it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I, I chucked it. it was... Which game results in the broken controllers? Battlefield 4. Oh, Battlefield's uh, so hard. Battlefield 4 <laughs> resulted in the last broken controller. I was 19 and 0 in a scout helicopter. I got shot down with like two minutes left in the game. I wasn't very happy. <laughs> no, that'll ruin your day. It was rage. <laughs> it's like when everybody dies in the raid in World of Warcraft. You're just like, ah, well, fuck this, I'm done. It's just gonna flip, log out now. Yeah, flip everything. Flip and... the keyboard, throw the monitor. <laughs> I'm done. Right, I'm done. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm canceling my subscription. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> and then five minutes later, I regretted breaking the controller because I didn't yeah. have anything to play on. Now I gotta go buy a new keyboard. <laughs> okay, next question from at Rod Brick. Who is the most ticklish of you three? I want to see him get tied and tickled really good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ticklish? Uh, yeah, so a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. No. So, oh, no. Yeah, so are you too. <laughs> Only a little. <laughs> oh, what about this? <laughs> it's just like right here. That's literally it's my always, weak spot. It's always everybody's sides. Yeah. No weak spot. The only, and my knees. My knees are bad. Uh, really? <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> nice try. Alright, cool. Next question from at Tyler Boo. Are you worried your family will see your movies? Hmm. Hmm. Well, no. <laughs> I'm not really worried about it, because if they find it, then they were probably searching for something that they're yeah. not going to tell me about anyway. Yeah. So, and if you're watching yeah. this, hi. Exactly. So yeah, they're not, it's not like it's something It's like, oh, by the way, I was searching for gay porn the other night, and uh, I came across you, and uh, so I've seen that now. Uh, yeah, if, if my parents watched my porn, I would probably have more questions to ask them than they yeah, would me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, like, I'm always, my, my family knows, but I'm always petrified about them bringing it up. Always, I don't want to talk about oh it. Oh my <laughs> god, always. My mom made a joke at me the other week at Thanksgiving. She's like, don't eat too much, you won't be seen ready. And I was like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I didn't know what the fuck to say. I was like, you can't tell me. <laughs> That's awkward. I, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd probably just be like, the worst part is I'm she knew now. what scene ready meant. Like, she knew that term already. That means she knows what cleaning out is. Exactly. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so next question from Gracie Scarlet. Brad, do your friends treat you differently because of your job? Um, not necessarily. Uh, nothing's really changed with any of my friends. Everything's kind of like the same as when I've started porn, so not really, but I do, I do know of one person that kind of was like not for it, but then they were worried that I wasn't happy doing it. They were concerned that it was like a bad it was more move, like a, like a personal move yeah. on you. And then they realized I was happy, so everything's fine. Yeah. My friends threw a viewing party when mine came out. <laughs> so there's that. And there's a view. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> literally, I got a Snapchat from my friend, and she was, she, she literally, it was all my friends, and she was like, oh my god, you eat ass. <laughs> you eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> and you like it? <laughs> and you do that? I was like, um, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, and I get paid for it too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? Uh, do your friends treat you differently? Oh, um, 
Well, none of my friends that I knew before treat me differently, you know what I mean? And then, like, started doing it, but, like, when I meet people new now, I'm like, oh, I'd love to be friends with you. And then it's like, gets around to like, oh, what do you do for a living? It's like, porn. And then suddenly they're weird. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't want to be friends or like, that's all they want to talk about from then on. And it's like, oh, just, yeah. uh, just want to go to the movies and like, hang out and be chill. The mm-hmm. questions. <laughs> the questions. Yeah. You get 25 questions and 25 somebody questions. figures it out. Right. Okay, next question from Mickey Downing. Uh, Blake, who would you love to have a scene with that you haven't worked with yet? I don't think I've ever done a scene with a new model for like their first scene, so I think that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Yeah, and I, I have never, I've never broken in a new model. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really like a person, but like an image of a person. Yeah, yeah. The idea. Of exactly. It's a big challenge for a first. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? If he can do me, he's it's initiation. He's, he's set here. He's set. <laughs> That's how we would do the scene too. <laughs> um. I don't. Justin Owen's always been one of my favorite porn stars, mm-hmm. so I would love to. Oh, cool! To get a scene with him, that would be a lot of fun. I would do that too. I'd do a redo with Justin Owen's. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it again. <laughs> okay, from at a one g e c c c, Troy. Who is your celebrity crush? Cam Gig. I I can never figure out how to say his last name. Cam Gigandit or Gigante or something. I think it's Gigandit. The guy who played um he was in Never Back Down. Blonde hair. He was in Burlesque. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was the bartender in Burlesque. Mm-hmm. No, he's a, it's a sexy guy, don't worry. Oh, he's... I can't... I don't know how I to pronounce his... You've never seen Never Back oh Down? The fight movie? Oh, my God. <laughs> he's... <laughs> and he plays, like, the, the like bad boy character in that movie. And it's just... Oh. Yeah. I wish they'd have made that into a porno. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would have paid money for that. Would've, right. would have watched that. <laughs> okay, next question from Elena Seagal. Uh, Blake, what's your biggest pet peeve? Mm. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of pet peeves. <laughs> like tons of things just like slightly annoy me, but I know that they do, so I know that I just shouldn't like try and like push it away. Mm. But I'd say, um, uh, I don't want to sound like a dick. Um, Oh, okay, here's a good pet peeve. When my boyfriend leaves the towels on the floor (laughs) after the shower, but gets mad at me when I leave my clothes on the ground for the shower. (laughs) It's like, 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 hang your towel up. It's not that hard. It's getting dirty on the floor. It's not, you can't use it again after that. It's gross. Uh, Like where the clothes are like, the clothes are already dirty. Yeah, exactly. So it's okay for the clothes. It's not okay for the towel. The towel just, the towel. Okay, he doesn't put his dishes up either. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, next question from at Mac Falconer. Um, Brad, how did you get into the porn business and what made you decide to do it? Um, I got into it through um, a friend of mine I knew had um, an agent she was working with, and I was like, oh, I'll befriend that person. So I like um, made friends with him, did a photo shoot, and then a week later I was in California with Helix. Um, and then what was, the the, what was the other part What was the other part of the question <laughs> though? Photo shoot and then <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, what made you decide to do it? Decide to do it? Um, I'm not sure. I was actually traveling back from a trip on New York City with my friends and they were gossiping about this girl. So, I don't know. I guess I was kind of envious in a sense how successful she was. So I was like, I want to do that too and like I don't know. I guess that's why I wanted to do it. <laughs> not wrong with it. It's okay. Yeah. I wanted to be famous too. <laughs> <laughs> Next question from Brittany Saylor. What's your favorite movie? Mm. Uh, the Perfect. Perf- oh, go ahead. Um, well, now I can't think of it. You go ahead. Um, it's probably either The Perfect Storm or. I'm trying to remember the name. Um, well, I'm a big baseball guy. The Sandlot was always a... Mm. I love that. I watched Sandlot, The Sandlot so. growing up <laughs> probably 5,000 times. I can mm-hmm. quote it sound for sound. Yeah. Same with the Titanic. So, I mean, I have a couple of, like, just favorite movies. I like Home Alone. I've always said that that was, like, my favorite yes. movie, but I love tons of movies, so Best I don't Christmas know. movie. It's, it is hard to pick. I pick my favorite movies usually based on the actors, unless it's, like... Unless the, the, the actual story of it is so good, but... So my favorite movie of all time probably is The Breakfast Club. 
it's just like my favorite mm. cult mm. 80s high school movie. It's it never like, gets old. It never, it, it never. Yeah. I know, literally when I watch it, I'm sitting there like, like saying the words along <laughs> with them for everybody. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Okay, from uh, Nikki Taylor. Do you guys prefer to film threesomes or paired scenes? Mm. And also do threesomes take longer to film? I think they're about the same normally. I prefer, um, I don't think I have a preference. I like them equally now. Originally, I think I liked just one person, but now I'm like, I thought it would just be like very, I don't know, it's new. You don't have three ways all the time, so it's kind of like nerve wracking, but it's totally the same. Yeah. Um, I'll probably prefer like a duo scene versus a threesome, um, just because there's less to focus on. <laughs> I can focus on one thing, one person, versus like I'm in a threesome. I feel like, oh crap, I don't want this person to not get right. I don't attention. Want anybody. <laughs> yeah. So let me focus on him a little more. <laughs> oh crap, wait, wait, you know. But at the same time, it's not that I don't like threesomes. I think they're really hot. I think they're a lot of fun. It's just I prefer duo over threesome. This is only the second threesome that I've filmed. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think I really don't. Yeah. No, this is at least. No, this third. is the third threesome because the we first just one. Did one on this set and yeah. We did one over there. I did two with you. So. Yeah. Oh, never mind. This is my fourth threesome. <laughs> I forgot about the one with the French twinks. Oh um, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't even there for that. And then I had one with Grayson. you and Grayson, yeah. and then I had one with Andy. Cody and. That was a foursome. Yeah, that's true. That oh, and the foursome. Yeah. And then the one in here, which was. The, the, this was the, the one for your YouTube. Yeah. Um. And but I would say uh, threesomes are getting like easier. It's like it's like I don't know. I'm like the opposite. Like I'm like I love that there's something else to focus on too. You know what I mean? Because otherwise I just get like warped in and too focused on one thing. So. Uh, oh, next question. Do you have threesome uh, from at Saint Mateo? Do you have threesomes in real life? Well, I'm. I don't. But and, would you? <laughs> me and the boyfriend have talked about it, but it's one of those things where we're like, eh, you know, sex life isn't dead yet. Let's not go looking for another spark. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right that. Sometimes uh, me and my boyfriend both download Grinder, and we like get dick pics, dick pics from guys, and then just don't hook up with them. We just lead them on and sit there and jerk off together to that, to like the thought of the threesome, because it's like, uh, actually going to meet this guy yeah, and like feeling him out and like, uh, it's too much could be, could, it's, be a, could be a weirdo. Exactly, it could he could get too attached, we don't know. Yeah. We just need to <laughs> <laughs> just jerk off to the thought of him. <laughs> it's horrible, but we <laughs> From that Helix Fangirl, where do you guys see yourselves in five years? And well, I'll let you do that, because she has two questions. Okay. Um, well, hopefully, in five years, I'll be here. Maybe doing reality. Reality would be fun. But I'll if I had... Diego. Yeah, but if I had my way, um, I would definitely go back to school and get my pilot's license and learn to fly, because that's something oh, that's I've cool. wanted to do since I was, like, three or four years old. I don't want to fly planes. So That would be awesome, but I don't think it's going to happen. So reality is <laughs> the next, next best step. <laughs> Oh, that's not so bad. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, not, not a bad that. substitution. <laughs> Definitely. Um, in five years, uh, that would put us at 2020, so at least I'll be 21. So hopefully I'm drinking a beer <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in my first place. That's, like, my goal in five years. <laughs> <laughs> um, it depends on what happens, really, because, like, we're doing YouTube, so if YouTube d is still doing well in five years, then we'll be doing that. But if not, then probably gonna start a business up in uh, Washington where we live and uh, I don't want to tell you what type of business but it's good. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you can read between these lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Alright, cool. Um, uh, next ne uh, Helix Fangirl's other question was, <clears throat> is it weird to you that you have female fans? Nope. Nah, not weird to me at all. It, it's I, They're I like the be, nicer ones. Too. I prefer yeah. the female fans. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> really okay. Just, sorry. See, I, I, it, it's kind of double standard. I, it's like gay guys watching lesbian porn, mm -hmm. or not gay guys, straight guys watching lesbian porn, and then mm -hmm. being weirded out Vice by a gay versa. dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> girls, oh. girls watch porn too. It's like, yeah. From at Ollie does seventy four, who's got it best? Blake with a porn boyfriend, Troy with a non porn boyfriend, or Brad being single. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like 
not having a porn boyfriend because he he it, it's a burden but it's a good thing at the same time i'm i feel secure with him but at the same time he he doesn't understand the business aspect of it he thinks of it as more and i have to constantly remind him that it's not um but you know it's not bad it works so that's being single brad that's amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy, guys. I'm so careful. No, I get lonely though too. So there's oh, negatives too. That's when you. That's when you go to. But no. that's when you have this. <laughs> right. Yeah, then you go to work. <laughs> um, having a porn boyfriend's interesting. It's cool to be dating somebody who's not also a new model, but somebody who's like already got the experience. So like he knows he knows what it's about and everything like that. And that's yeah. that makes it like hella easy. Yeah. But. He's still crazy, so. <laughs> a request here from at Naughty Husky AD. Uh, a three-way kiss would be nice. <laughs> It'd be interesting to try. Yeah. Mm, you're in the middle, so. You're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> My glasses get in the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, a question from Marcus XE. Would you three have a threesome? Well, since, I guess since we're here in the <laughs> <mean>, porn studio, <laughs> it's a good idea, right? That seems like the logical thing to do. Right. 